this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's lovely world, and it looks like I'm having a better day than that zombie is. <laughs> That's why you don't jump on my lanterns. Oh, look at his last little look around. His last little goodbye to Stampy's lovely world, and then plop. All gone. Goodbye, Googly. <laughs> That's what you get for being a smelly, evil Googly and attacking me and my dogs. Anyway, this is another video inside of my lovely world. I am being joined, as I always am, by Mr. Alpha Lee. And wait a, wait a minute, Lee. Wait, wait, wait one minute. That's not where you normally enter. Oh, hello. Um, goodbye. <laughs> is he doing his morning exercise, uh, exercises? Hello, hello, Lee. Um, goodbye again, Lee. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. Good morning, Lee. How are you doing today? You're looking very fresh and bright and early and full of beans ready for today's building, which is good, which is good. That, that's that's the way I expect a Minecraft helper to be. And seeing as you are the premier leader of all of Stampy's Minecraft helpers, uh, it's good that you're, you're there setting a, a good example. And it's nice to see you as well, Larry. Larry Love, which is Lee's new dog. Jump up and down, Lee. Right, go, go, go step back a bit and then jump up and down and and oh, I, oh wait I want to get Larry to look at you again did you see his head like jumping up and down here we go look at his little head tilting up and down it looks like he's listening to music right, let me put some music on and we can have the the dog dancing all right let's go and put on let's not do chirp let's do a different one for a change and uh, there we go let's put that in then we can have the dog's head going up and down you're gonna jump up and down slowly Lee and then the dog's head will gradually go up and down to the music Oh, now he's looking at me, right? I need to do it now, then. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, we don't have time to play doggy dancers all daily as much as I'd like to. First, as always, we need to have ourselves some breakfast. We can't be going out having a day's work without a full cake inside of our bellies. So, num, 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 Sorry, I didn't save you any today, Lee. But you can have a little crumb, a little piece of bread. There we go. And anyway, let's go play the egg game. That's what I'm really looking forward to doing. And uh, basically, the egg game is, at uh, the beginning of uh, all of my videos, I try and throw an egg uh, to hit one of the, the paintings on these signs. And uh, there's uh, an egg for you there, Lee, if you don't have one. And uh, yeah, so we just need to throw an egg and uh, try and hit one of the the paintings off and if we do then we get happy and if we miss then we get sad that's basically how it works right you can go first as always Lee as always bears first and he's going he's going for the purple one I believe right that's a that's a medium difficulty one it's not as hard as the lime one and oh way under way under right my go I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go for that lime one and I am gonna hit it I'm determined to do it right I think I need to aim quite a lot higher and if I jump as well and ah oh, no luck no luck right let's have another go then lean seen as we both failed and I don't want to start with a bad day you have let's let's both go for that lime one and hopefully one of us is, is, is gonna be able to get it it's got to be the hardest one don't even know if it's possible but we're going to keep trying nonetheless right looks like is lee going to go for a run up is he run jump and he didn't even throw there we go release and oh i think that went too high i think it actually went too high right it should be possible then if he went too far all right let me go for a sprint run jump throw oh slightly too low <laughs> Next time, Lee. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, we're going to hit that line one. Anyway, let's not waste any time because we do have a, a busy day. Uh, let me go and, uh, as always at the beginning, uh, go and head over to my love garden and add someone to it. And if you are new around here and you don't know what Stampy's love garden is, then let me inform you. Uh, this is it. It's basically a, a lovely place in my world. So there's a big heart here. And at the beginning of all of my videos, I look at a sign with someone's name on and uh, say thank you for them for doing something. And the only rule that I have about being added to my love garden is is you're not allowed to ask to be added to the love garden. That is the that is the unspoken rule. Well, I guess it's the, the spoken rule because I just said it. <laughs> anyway, today to the love garden, I am adding Pebbles the Panda. And I'm actually not only adding Pebbles the Panda, uh, but I could only fit one name on the sign. I'm actually adding uh, Pebbles the Panda, Mushroom Cow One, Jake on the Xbox, Cadbury Girl, and Lame Inferno, because they made an amazing recreation of Stampy's Lovely World. And you can see a few clips of it on your screen here. And they did an incredible job. They did my entire house, they did all of my shops and everything, they made a start in my fun land, and it is so good. I've actually been on it as well, they invited me to go on it, and whoa! <laughs> you see Larry falling down there. And yeah, it's incredible, it's so good, and it's actually it's really weird being on a world that looks almost exactly the same, uh, but is slightly different. And I know they've been working on it for months, and they're still working on it. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to say thank you very much for making it. They didn't make it necessarily for me, uh, they did it as just a fun project, but uh, I think their, their hard work needed to be rewarded, so I had to give them a 
a shout out on here. Actually, so, something that we could do, Lee. Uh, oh, Lee's, well, Lee's off. Where, where's Lee run off to? Oh, he's, he's in the How did he get to the doghouse that fast? He's already in there. Let me go join him. Well, he knows where I'm going to go. That was crazy. I have no idea how he managed to get there that far. You're a speedy bear today, aren't you? Okay, let's go pick a dog then, shall we? And, ah, um, okay. There's normally dogs in here, but there's now no dogs in here. Should I, should I be worried about this, Lee? This... This doesn't seem like a promising thing. Yes, yes, I do think I should be worried. Okay, okay, let's let let's have a look around. What's going on here? Let's look for clues. Any clues to where the missing dogs are? Has Squid Nugget been stealing my dogs? No, no Squid Nugget and no dogs in here either. I mean, the obvious thought is hit the target. But then again, after our, our last battle, I, I hope that would have at least scared him off for a little while. There's nothing here. There's no signs of dogs anywhere. Hmm, let's, let's go check on mittens, actually, then. Let's go and have a look up here in the kitty cat condo. Oh, I hear a meow. I hear a meow. That is promising. Mittens? Mittens, are you in here? There we go. Mittens is here. Mittens is safe. All of the dogs have gone missing, Mittens. Why don't you use your expert sense of smell and try and sniff them out? Go, Mittens, go. Sniff them out. Go. No, you're just going to sit there. You're just going to sit there. Go on, Mittens. Where are the dogs? Track them down. Okay, I think Mittens is just going to sit there. All right, let's just feed her a fish, and there we go. That will keep her happy, at least. <laughs> oh, she doesn't even want fish. Okay, if you don't want the fish, I'm going to have it then. Okay, well, Mittens can join me for the video then. But let's all let's all keep our eye out, and uh, keep an eye out for any, um, any mischief. For all I know, all the dogs have just gone on holiday somewhere, and it's to totally fine. I mean, Larry's here. Larry Love is here. And if it was hit the target, maybe he only wants my dogs. Let's go check on Fluffy, then. Let's see if Fluffy's here, or has Fluffy gone? No, Fluffy's gone as well. This is very mysterious. We are going to have to keep our eyes out, but uh, we won't let it ruin our day. We're going to carry on building uh, what we were going to be building, and that is in here. This is inside my hospital, my, uh, my, was it, my cat care clinic, I think I was going to call it. And uh, we built all of the outside in the last video, uh, but we're yet to build any of the inside, and that's what we're going to go and uh, try and get as much done of uh, today. So there's going to be four rooms, and uh, yeah, let's just go and get straight to it then, shall we? So there's going to be walls uh, along there. And uh, walls along here as well. And then we're going to have a little doorway in the middle there. And uh, I guess Lee's going to carry on building it there. If I build the, the bottom row of the walls, Lee, uh, if you carry on building them up, I'll go and start building the uh, the inside and start building uh, all of the, the different rooms we're going to have here. And, uh, and Mittens, you can stand there and you can keep guard just in case anyone uh, anyone comes after us. So, uh, yeah, one of the things I'm going to build is a, uh, a burn clinic. Basically, if you've been somewhere hot, if you've been in fire or if you've been in lava in the nether, basically a place to cool down so I'm basically going to do uh, a big kind of swimming pool here but then I'm going to completely fill it full of ice and so if I get my I got my silk touch uh, diamond shovel here and if I hop down here, oh, here are the googlies. <laughs> Look at the skeleton there shooting the zombie. There we go. Look, we're playing we're playing zombie in the middle. Me here in this um this skeleton are playing zombie in the middle. And oh, Lee, you ruined our game. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, look, there's a load of ice down here which isn't being used. And so if I use my silk touch pickaxe, I can actually break the ice. And so I can actually gather it up. And I can then go and place this ice somewhere else. So let me just go around here and smash a, a whole load of this. And uh, the only thing you need to be careful with uh, with the ice is that you need to, to make sure that you don't put torches too near it. Uh, because as you can kind of see with these torches down here, they do melt the ice. I'm going to have to be uh, very careful about that. But uh, this here should be uh, more than enough ice. And so I'm going to go and try and uh, find a way upstairs somehow again. I guess I'm just going to pile up. Uh, which room am I in? Okay, I'm in the right room. If I go and pile up here, and then I can go and start doing my swimming pool. So the floor is going to be blue uh, just to kind of fit in with uh, all of the, the water as well. So let me go and uh, fill in that round the outside. And then the, the swimming pool is going to be uh, one block deep. Well, it's going to have one block of water, then ice, then blue wool uh, underneath that, just so you can't see all the dirt and stuff. So there's going to be water here, ice there, and so all the blue wool needs to be on this level here. And then also, uh, just around the room, we're just going to put a load of ice anywhere, uh, kind of as if they're like massive ice cubes, just so, uh, yeah, it's going to be a very chilly room. I can't remember what I was going to call it. I think it was going to be like the... 
Feeling Nice Healing Ice, I think was the, the name of the room I came up with. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I come up with these awful, awful names, but <laughs> I do. if the name makes me laugh, whether it's good or not, uh, good, good or not, that's uh, enough for me to, <laughs> to go and call a room it. So let's put uh, blue wall all underneath here. Am I going to have enough? I think I'm just about uh, going to have enough blue wall for these last few final blocks. And then I want to put ice on here. Then I want to go and do some buckets and uh, grab some, some water as well. So uh, let me go put that blue wall away and there we go i got 58 pieces of ice so if i jump up here i can go and put this down here so we're making a, a little tiny ice rink down here for now and then you're not even going to really see this ice very well but we know it's here because we're going to go and put uh, water all on top of there as well and uh, let me go and put some torches up and uh, we need to make sure the torches are way up as high as they can be uh, then hopefully that way it's not gonna uh, melt away all of our ice that should be okay and how weird does the how weird does the ceiling look it's because it's all half slabs oh you can actually kind of see like over the the wall slightly because it's half slabs we're gonna have to to get some more half slabs lee and try and fill that in that's a bit weird i think actually in the the chest i got some more oh, there we go lee's going and filling it in that actually looks quite cool i do actually like the like the uh, the look of that right so what i need to do then is uh excuse me lee is a uh, dodge past lee i go out here and make myself uh, a couple buckets and then i can go and try and fill in uh, all of the the water inside there and uh, can i just steal water from the jacuzzi here we go i can just use the the jacuzzi so unfortunately because i'm using it from the jacuzzi uh, that water it is going to be really warm but it's going to uh, very quickly calm down once I put it in my in my cool chill room and so if I just uh, outside here for now I'm just going to make an infinite water source uh, so yeah you're going to have to watch out for this Lee there's going to be <laughs> a bit of a puddle of water in the corridor just for now so let me just go and build that there and uh, put some water there and uh, some water there and then I can keep taking the uh, the water from here and refilling it and uh, putting it down inside of here. So if I just go and put it like that. And I just want to put enough in so there's going to be uh, no streams of water all over the place. So let me go and place some down here and some down there as well. And uh, I think two more buckets of water should be uh, just about enough. I think one there and one there. There we go. There we go. I've got a completely filled up uh, pool of water. Let me just fill up my buckets again just in case uh, I need water a little bit later on. I think I might do actually. And so yeah, if I go and put down on the dirt, then break all of this away. And then no one need... No, look at that. Not even a wet patch on the carpet. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, this is my ice pool. And it's it's uh, it's very uh, it's chilly inside of here. Okay. 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 There we go. I'm not going to go inside there because it's absolutely freezing. But what I am going to do is make the room even colder by just putting ice all over the outside. I'm going to pile a bit up there like that and just hope against hope that all of this isn't going to go and melt. And yeah, I can put some ice in here actually as well. Make it all absolutely freezing all in there and more ice all around here and build it up there a little bit. And yeah, hopefully this isn't all going to melt. I'm going to come in here later and it's just going to be water all over the place. But I think this should be okay. Here we go. This is my this is my cold room. It does actually look freezing in here, doesn't it? Put my one more bit of ice down there so here we go here is one room uh completely finished and let me just make a crafting table in here and i think i've done one inside of here yeah i got two outside but i want to make another one and uh, let's just go and put a a door on the front here and uh, there we go that that's one room done that is my uh, my cold room and here we go there's already water appearing right i guess those torches were too low uh, let me just go and get rid of that there i guess we're just gonna have to go in and clog up all of the bits where water comes out <laughs> anyway to the next room and ah look at this lee's already done the the walls and the floor already and this is probably the the most important room this is the room which is which we're going to cure zombies basically if you don't know uh, you can now get zombie villagers and you can cure them and turn them into regular villagers which is awesome and uh, I need some glass actually I think I might have put some yeah here we go I put some sand in there so I can get some glass and so basically you need to splash them with a weakness potion and then give them a golden apple and then you can turn them back to regular villagers and I don't have any villagers in my world because uh, I made my world so long ago uh, when I made it they didn't actually have villagers in the game yet and so I don't have any but this is an opportunity for me to get my very own villager villager friend which is something that I've been uh, wanting to do for absolute ages so uh, if I put all of this down here basically what we can do is we can trap a zombie uh, behind the glass and then we can splash them with a weakness potion uh, potion, and then give them a, a golden apple as well and I can do it in a kind of fancy automated way if I'm clever about this right what has Lee said to me uh, cyan text door Cyan text is that supposed to be cyan next door Lee is that what it's supposed to say yeah yeah in this room here this is where the the psychiatrist is going to be and uh apparently 
I looked this up. This kind of color, this sort of blue color is supposed to be the most calming color, apparently. So <laughs> that's why we need to do that. So yeah, cyan textorly. <laughs> anyway, actually, I'm going to have to smash this glass. If I use my, my shovel, I won't waste it. If I put a dispenser down in the corner there, we can fill that full of um weakness potions. Then I'm going to do a trail of redstone. Actually, I should have left that block there. Yeah, under the, under the ground towards it. And then I'm going to do a, a lever in the, the corner over here. Actually, I might just do a button uh, nearby. And so that when you press the button, uh, it's just going to splash it. And so that way it can be uh, all a little bit more automated, I guess. And do I have any more red wool? Here we go. I still got some red wool. I think I'm just going to use that just so I've got uh, a different color of wool. So let me go and hop inside here. And uh, let me go and build that. Actually, I should probably do the, the actual redstone bit first. And then uh, just cover all of this up. And this is the simplest redstone in the world. Don't start panicking. Uh, so all it's going to be is a, a straight trail of redstone to this block, I think. If I, if I just build along like this... I think that is literally uh, all it needs to be. Then I just need to, to try and get myself uh, back up the top here. And I should have some, some redstone in my pocket. I think I should have some on me. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Uh, here's some, some redstone here. And if I just do that uh, trailing along there, then I'll put a red wall uh, along here. As if it's like a, a little tube. And then on the end there, I'm going to do... Actually, I'll just do a button there, I think. If I go and uh, uh, put that down there. And if I go and just make a... I'll make a wooden button for now. Just because I've only got wood on me. I don't really have many choices. And uh, if I make some more wooden planks. And there we go. If I plonk this down here, hopefully when I press the button, the dispenser will work. There we go. There's nothing in it, so <laughs> nothing came out. Let me just let me just prove that that's working, so you don't have to take my word for it. Let me just go and put uh, a bit of dirt in there. So hopefully, if I press the button, ta da! A bit of dirt comes out. And so what I will do is put a load of um, uh, potions in there, potions of weakness, and uh, then that way, uh, yeah, it's going to splash them. And if I leave a little opening there, we can give them the golden apple through it. And I guess for now, I'm just going to put a wooden door here. What I think I'm going to do eventually is uh, go and um, I'm going to do some sort of automated system. So there's going to be levers that pull up. Uh, some pistons to like trap the zombie in uh, but for now uh, this is gonna do so let's just go and put in uh, a few more torches just so I can see what I'm doing properly and then yeah if we see any zombie villagers uh, we can go and uh, trap them uh, inside of here and then heal them so <laughs> we're trapping them but ultimately it's to do something nice it's to, to make them to make them feel better and uh, let me just kind of have a quick look around just to see if there are any zombie villagers around here I've not seen any yet in my lovely world and they look kind of like a mixture of a zombie and a villager so they're like a zombie, uh, but with a with a slightly bigger head, I guess. And I can't I can't see any around here. Lots lots of regular zombies, but <laughs> none of the the special fancies ones. Let's have a look in here. Oh no, there's two creepers and a skeleton in there. Right, even though they're behind glass, they still scare me. And oh no, a spider just dropped on my head. Right, forget this. I'm going back inside of here where it's safe and nice. I don't like it out there. Way too many googlies for me. <laughs> and oh. This is nice. Look at this funky floor on the pattern. This is cool. This is going to be the laboratory. This is going to be my the place where we make all of the the medicine. And so it's basically going to be like a, a medical lab. And it's going to be called the Feeling Fab Medical Lab or Feeling Fab Med Lab. <laughs> and so let's go and build along here. This is going to be the counter. And then we need to make a, a whole load of brewing stands along here, uh, which we can use to, to make the medicine. But let's try and make it look all science-y. I don't actually know, do you have any blaze rods on you at all, Lee, to, to make some brewing stands? Because that would be uh, really useful. Uh, but I need to make a, a cauldron. Are they made around here? No. How do you make a cauldron? Are they with buckets? Here we go so this can be like my my sink i guess and if i go and make actually i'm gonna make a i'm gonna bring this crafting table inside so uh yeah i'm not gonna just go and make a, another one i've already made so many and here we go here's some blaze rods down here thank you lee and so i'm gonna go and put the i put the the cauldron down here and this can be kind of like the sink and let me go grab the crafting table, which is... Did I drop it? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's still left down here. And sorry, Mittens, why are you sitting down? You can come and join me, Mittens. You don't have to sit there as long as you behave. And let's go put the crafting table down here. And that can stay there. And I'm actually going to make a um, a trap door. And I'm going to put that over the, the sink so you can sort of flap it up and down. And I'm going to put some water in there as well first because you need that uh, for all of your brewing. There we go. That's that down there. And oh, actually, something that I need to do is I need to make a lab coat. And the way I'm going to make a lab coat is by actually 
actually dyeing some leather. And uh, to dye that, I'm actually going to need some bone meal, which means I'm going to have to find a skeleton. And here we go. Just going inside here into the <laughs> into the pretty kitty. Would you like to be beautified, skeleton? Is that what you want? <laughs> Sorry, googlies are not allowed in here. All right, hopefully it's going to drop some bones. There we go. Uh, it dropped a few bones, so that's exactly what we needed. We can make them into bone meal, uh, so I can make myself my very own lab coat, which I can wear while I'm uh, while I'm inside of here. So uh, yeah, let's go and just go make some brewing stands then. Uh, I think it's uh, one blaze rod per bre uh, brewing stand. I think you make them around here. Let's see how many we can make. So I think I can make five of them. I think I'll do uh, four for now and I can put some more of them uh, in my brewing room in my house. I'll put one there, uh, one there. Let me just move you along there, Mittens. Don't mind me. And uh, one there and then one. I, th I, think, I think three will be enough. I think this will be uh, fine. And uh, what else could I put in here then? Uh, what else do I have on me that would that would look cool in here? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I could maybe do something that, to make something look like a fridge. Uh, what I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to make the um, I'm going to make myself my lab coat. So let me go uh, to my armor and make myself some leather armor, and uh, I can do some trousers as well because I've got just about enough leather for that. And oh no, I dropped them on the floor though. Let me just throw that down for now. And oh, actually, I know what else I could do in here. I could do some chests. <laughs> just by the fact my inventory is so full up, that reminded me. As uh, I can do some chests, which I can fill up uh, full of all of my sciencey things. So let's just go and put a chest down there for now. And uh, for the moment, let me just empty out my pockets of all of the, the stuff that I don't need right now. Actually, but something I do need uh, is the bones so I can make myself uh, some bone meal. And uh, let me go and try and find where bone meal is. I think it's along here. Here we go. So I can use the bone meal uh, to dye the leather. So let me go and put it on. Uh, I think that's I think that's how you need to do it. Oh, you might just be able to do it. Uh, can you just do it in here or do you have to actually be wearing it? Oh, no, there we go. We can just dye it uh, while it's down here. I could have actually used iron, I suppose. It would be kind of the same colour, but I kind of like it being leather. So here we go. Here's my lab coat. <laughs> Let me go and make myself some... Um uh, some item frame so I can go and hang it up. Actually, I know what I could do. I could make a coat hook as well. Let me show you how to make a coat hook. Uh, so first, let me make a, a couple item frames uh, so I can go and hang them up. So there you go. There's two item frames. And then I'm going to use a trip wire to make it look like a, a coat hook. There we go. So I've made a trip wire as well. And so let me go and uh, grab that and put that up first. And so I'm going to put that up there. There's my little coat hook. So it does kind of look like a coat hook, doesn't it? And then let's go and grab my item frames. And I'm going to go and put one there and one there. And then let's Let's go put my lab coat in. Uh, oh no, wrong place, wrong place. Oh, I'm actually wearing it. All right, let me go and try and grab that. And I'm going to put that underneath. And so whenever I'm doing all of my, my medical science experiments, I can be <laughs> I can be going and wearing that. So this is pretty much what the room's going to look like. I'm probably going to add uh, a few more things in here. But this is basically how it's going to be. And so in the next video, I'm going to be going and brewing a, a whole load of healing potions and hotion, uh, potions of regeneration and uh, all sorts of things like that. And also finishing off the, the final room. Actually, let's very quickly go. Seeing as we've almost finished, let me very, very quickly quickly go and finish off the final room because it's going to be so so simple all i need to do is i go in here and i need to go and place a, a bed down here which is going to be like a chaise lounge which where the where the patient's going to go and sit down on and then if i go and just make myself some stairs i'm going to make a, a chair where the the psychiatrist can sit on and i'm going to make some arms to the chair as well uh, by using some signs just like this and so they can go and lie down on there and if i go and put down a chair like this uh, this can be where the the therapist would sit like that there we go we've almost got it finished so uh, in the next video i'm going to probably do a, a few more finer details and all good looks like none more of the no more of the ice has melted yeah so in the next video i'm going to do a, a few more finishing touches and uh, make it look even better as well as brewing all of the the potions and things and then also i'm going to come up with some competition to see who the employee of the month will be i guess we can see who the the doctor of the month will be is what we're going to be doing in the the next video and oh Looks like we've got a whole googly party in here. Look at that. Three creepers, two skeletons, and a spider. Yeah. <laughs> I would not like to be inside of that cage. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of this video here. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!